everyone. We're going to find the limit using L'Hopital's rule with the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 divided by x squared, um, all raised to the power of x. It has the indeterminate form of infinity to 0 if you apply the limit now. So that means I'm going to use this formula here to find my limit. Um, I'm going to let f of x it up here f of x equal 1 divided by x squared to the x power and then I'm going to uh, take the natural log of both sides so I'm taking the natural log of f of x and this is what I'm going to find and then uh, take the natural log of 1 divided by x squared move this x in front all right now to write it in a form where I can use L'Hopital's rule, this is going to equal um, um, ln of 1 divided by x squared divided by 1 divided by x. So now we're going to take the limit of ln of f of x as x approaches 0, because that's what we need to find to do our formula. Now, this is going to be the limit as x approaches 0 of this. So this is going to be ln of 1 divided by x squared, all divided by 1 divided by x. Now, let's, uh, um, let's see. This form will be um, infinity over infinity, and I can apply L'Hopital's rule. Alright, so we take the derivative of the numerator. So for uh, this part, that's going to be, for our numerator, uh, 1 divided by 1 divided by x squared times the derivative of the inner function. So when you differentiate um, with respect to x, x to the negative 2 power, you're going to get negative 2x to the negative 3. So I'm multiplying this by uh, 2 to the negative, this is going to be negative 2 over x cubed. So this is going to be times uh, negative 2, and I'm going to put it on up here. So I'm going to write negative 2 divided by x cubed for that one part. And then differentiate your denominator, which is going to be negative 1 divided by x squared. All right, so from here we got to be real careful and let's start simplifying our numerator and see what we get. To simplify the numerator, that's going to be negative 2 uh, divided by x cubed times, uh, this is x cubed, times x squared um, divided by 1. So this is just going to be <coughs> negative 2, this is going to be x here negative 2 divided by x. Then we still have negative 1 divided by x squared. And um, let me write the limit in here real small. Okay, so now we have this. Now simplifying this, I can bring this, uh, we have two negatives, it's going to make a positive. I can bring this uh, x squared up here so now we're going to get the limit as x approaches 0. And when you have um, 2x squared divided by x, that's just going to equal um, the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x. Now when you apply the limit, that means our limit is going to be 0. So the limit of ln of f of x equals zero. We need to know that for this formula. So now let's write out our formula. We're going to get uh, the limit as x approaches zero of one divided by x squared to the power of x equals the limit as x approaches zero and e to the power of ln of f of x. Now this was uh, 
0. So this is going to be e using substitution, e to the 0 power equals 1. So our limit is 1. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.